what does it look like when the narcissist mask slips? Let's talk about that. I am Lise Colucci and I am a life coach from Queen Being. And let's get started talking about when the mask slips on a narcissist. What do you notice? Let me know in the comments because there's going to be a whole lot of different things people see and it can really help people to be able to refer back to it, right? And to, to feel like, oh yeah, I saw that too. So let me know what you think. You might notice projection to an extreme. And while they are projecting to an extreme, they're acting like you're the one who's too hostile. You're the one who's the problem. You're angry, you're judgmental. They don't own anything. Anything that's going on in the relationship, anything that's going on in the interactions between you, they don't own anything and they project everything. And there's always an argument, always hostility, always a wall up where you feel like you can't actually talk to them because they are not talking from any rational place. Nothing they're saying makes sense and it all feels like gaslight. They might act completely withdrawn and then get hostile or angry when any request is made of them for re for being kind of normal, right? Like for anything, affection, help, whatever, they might get surly and aggressive or, or have a lot of dismissal. They have a lot of vindictive attacks. So, I mean, a lot of this when the mask slips stuff is what you see in the devaluing cycle and it's but it's like for a prolonged period of time so you might so you might be used to seeing this with the devaluing but it's like longer and it does there's no bounce back it's just this overall general yucky disposition that they have so they might bring up the past and amplify the differences and, and discussions and just like things that have happened that were never settled they might be emotionally indifferent to outcomes, like whatever, go ahead, do what you want. Like not even, not even like engaging in things, sort of almost like they're gray rocking you, but with complete emotional indifference. They go into absolute self-protection and self-serving mode. You know, this one, you can experience more than you can talk about it. Does that make sense? Like you get a feeling when you're around someone. I get, personally, I get this one as a felt sense, like as an empathic experience of the person. Does that make sense? Where I feel that self-protectiveness and self-servingness, sort of like a vibe, right? Or like a mood or it, it affects me personally when, when someone is acting that way, where I realize it's not mine, right? I'm just not coming from me. It's coming from what they're putting out there. And it doesn't have to be words. It can be a stance or an attitude or a posture or something like that, that gives you the read and, or you're just picking it up, right? Um, that you feel that self-servingness and that self-protectiveness. They will play the victim when they are without the mask although i have to say i think the mask of victimhood is yet another mask so i think it's a go-to on like all of the the pretense is gone all of the masks that they wear that keep them presentable <laughs> right in 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 the relationships those are all gone they've all slipped there is a mask of victimhood they will push everything to arguments and then play the victim when you get angry. They will push you to reactivity. And by push you, I mean push and push and push and like dig in and whatever, right? And then when you get reactive, suddenly you're the problem, right? And they're the victim of your terrible behavior and they won't deal with that anymore. And then they'll go silent or they'll walk off. All right, so there's that. I think from what I understand of narcissism, there is no true personality. There are only masks that they wear. So I don't know that a mask can fully come off because what would they be? But they'd just be nothing because there's nothing, there's no real personality underneath it all. There's only layers and layers of false personalities put on in order to protect what they think is so precious, which is their ego and their self-aggrandized viewpoint of themselves, which isn't a real personality or a real person anyway. When the masks have slipped, when the, when the masks of pretense have slipped, they will do things to reestablish power. 
There'll be like a frenzied or manic fight for control. And that can come out in so many ways. And you will know from past experience with the narcissistic or toxic person that you're dealing with what that looks like individually. Things like starting arguments and getting you to react. There's one, like I just said, that is a power play. That's a dynamic for control. There'll be lots of gaslighting and lots of projecting to shift the viewpoint. And the big one that they do when they're reestablishing control is setting the narrative. They will create a narrative, a story about what is what, and they will preemptively say it to others or to you to set the tone for what's actually going on before they then come in later and start gaslighting so that then it pushes that reality into looking real. That's how they play the victim. That's how they, it's one way they maintain control. Basically without the masks, they're empty, rageful, angry, hostile, toxic people. They're miserable underneath because they don't actually like themselves they egotistically like themselves. may push away supply when the mask is off, but that's actually a way of pulling in supply because if they push you away, then you're gonna do what you can if you're in a relationship with them to try and be close to them again. You're gonna try and fix it. You're gonna try and you're gonna placate them. You're going to give to them. It's going to trigger your codependent traits into action, right? Like you're gonna go and try and fix things which gives them a ton of supply. So that's it for now on when the mask slips. What do you see when the narcissist mask or the mask of pretense, the mask of being able to get along in a relationship, the mask of being a person that isn't narcissistic and they just let it fly? What do you see? Rage, hostility, anything good? Let me know. I will talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.